Chanukah Sameach, Chag Orim Sameach, and Shabbat Shalom. There's a tension in the Hanukkah story between two different narratives. For so many years, the prophet Zechariah, who was read on the Shabbat of Hanukkah, and his words, Lo Bechayil Velo Bekoach, Ki Im Bruchia Mar Adonai, stood out for us, and that was not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord your God. And we know that there's this spiritual element to the lighting of the candles and the miracle of the light. We know that it represents aspirations for freedom and peace. And yet we also know that the story is rooted in an ancient historical event where the Maccabees were able to um, destroy the power of the ancient oppressive Syrian Greeks. And so we have to question that, which is it? And those stories come to us in two different strains. In fact, the rabbis in the Babylonian Talmud don't even mention the Maccabees, but certainly um, they play a central role. The rabbis in the Talmud speak about the miracle of the light. One of the things that you may notice from demographic studies about Israel, Israelis, American Jew and American Jews, is that there seems to be a gap which is growing between a perception of what does it mean to be Jewish in this world what does it mean to be an Israeli Jew in this world? And on one hand, there is a sense that one has to use one's strength and power in order to defend one's self and to be able to protect one's borders. That's really important for a nation to exist. And on the other hand, there's this search for something which is spiritual, some, something which exists on a different level, something that brings light not only to ourselves but to the world. I think being in that tension is part of what it means to live a Jewish life. We have had uh, martyrs in our history. We've had heroes in our history who have given up everything in order, in order for the Jewish people to survive. And yet our survival has also depended on our ability to keep the spirit of God alive, to keep Jewish learning and the Torah alive, to keep our celebrations alive, to understand how important it is to keep the word of God alive in our lives as we move forward. I think that we should all take some time to think about the different messages of Hanukkah, to understand what it means to have a modern state in this world, which can be such a dangerous place, and also to keep alive the light of Torah. Again, I wish you Chag Orim Sameach and Shabbat Shalom. See you in Shul.